Hi friends, in this video, we will see the security settings in Eternity range of IPBBX. The matrix Eternity range of IPBBX offers interfaces such as IP, GSM or 3G, T1 even PRI, ISD and BRI, ENM, CO that is FXO, analog extension that is FXS, digital extension DKP, magnetophones, IP extension and mobile extension. They come in different footprints to match the communication needs of any organization. Matrix Eternity systems meet varied communication requirements of customers from diverse industries, businesses and institutions. These products find application in Soho's that is small offices, home offices, call centers, hospitality PBX, service providers, business and enterprises, power utilities, housing complexes, and defense PBX. Matrix Eternity being feature rich boosts up the productivity of any organization as it provides features like conference, auto attendant, IVRS, mobility, voicemail and many more. Eternity is provided with security settings which prevents the system from unauthorized access. Let us see the various security settings available in Eternity. Login into GUI as system engineer. Go to security settings. Under security settings on WAN, one can find the access permission for FTP server, Telnet server, web server, auto configuration of third party SIP phones and SIP extension registration. Let us see them one by one. FTP or file transfer protocol is used for maintenance procedure of eternity such as firmware management, configuration, backup and restore, etc. The access rights can be decided by the two given options that is all IP addresses or only trusted IP addresses. All IP addresses option allows FTP server access from all the IP addresses. Only trusted IP addresses option allows FTP server access from the IP addresses or subnets mentioned in the trusted IP table. There will be two tables available namely trusted IPv4 IP addresses and trusted IPv6 IP addresses. Mention the trusted IP addresses and subnets in the respective tables and allow FTP server access against them. If any IP address sends request to access FTP with invalid credentials for more than 5 times within 10 minutes, it will be blocked for 10 minutes. Similarly, Telnet server access rights can be configured as well. Telnet server is used for advanced troubleshooting by the Matrix technical support team. Select the access rights for Telnet server from either of the two that is all IP addresses or only trusted IP addresses. If only trusted IP addresses are selected, mention the trusted IP addresses and subnets in the respective tables and allow Telnet server access against them. If any IP address sends requests to access Telnet with invalid credentials for more than 5 times within 10 minutes, it will be blocked for 10 minutes. Let us see the web server access rights now. Web server or web GUI 
is used for configuring Eternity through a web browser. Select the access rights for web server from either of the two that is all IP addresses and only trusted IP addresses. If only trusted IP addresses is selected, mention the trusted IP addresses and subnets in the respective tables and allow web server access against them. If any IP address sends a request to access web server with invalid credentials for more than 5 times within 10 minutes, it will be blocked for 10 minutes. Let us see the access rights for auto configuration of third party SIP phones. Eternity supports auto configuration of third party SIP phones. Auto configuration request from phones will reflect in the device management page of Eternity. The phones can be assigned with SIP accounts of Eternity from the device management page only. Select the access rights of auto configuration of third party SIP phones from either of the two that is all IP addresses and only trusted IP addresses. If only trusted IP addresses is selected Mention the trusted IP addresses and subnets in the respective tables and allow auto configuration of third party SIP phones access against them. If any third party SIP phones sends request for auto configuration with invalid credentials for more than 5 times within 10 minutes, it will be blocked for 10 minutes. Next. We will see the security for SIP extension registration. If any SIP phone sends registration request with invalid credentials for more than 10 times consecutively from same IP address and port, it will be blacklisted permanently. System engineer can remove such IP addresses and port from blacklist IP address SIP extensions table manually. You can enable blacklist SIP extension IP address colon port on multiple authentication failure attempts field for blacklisting IP address on invalid authentication as explained earlier. If IP addresses and subnets are mentioned in trusted IP address table with blacklist SIP extension IP address colon port except applied against them. Eternity will blacklist IP address sending invalid request for 10 consecutive times other than the ones mentioned in the table. We hope security settings in Eternity is clear now. Thank you for watching this video. For further queries and support, contact Metris Technical Support Team. For more videos, go to our YouTube channel Metrics Comsec.